But this is it. This is because we've all got to change our speed dials, you know. I think it probably will be the same phone number. Let's say it is, and uh, but if not, you'll be the first to know. That's okay. sort of a weak thing to say, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, Sharon, and then, you know what, tomorrow we're not even going to mention we've moved anymore. But, uh, uh, oh, I've just found out how to do that. Look, uh, see, that's me voice when I talk to you. All I've got to do is do this, and I can talk normally to you. <laughs> <laughs> just right now. The new place will have no, it'll have no rough edges. That's, that's my great worry. It is my great worry that the new place is going to be absolutely, uh, and whereas this is what you can hear in the background, this is this thing. Got, I've got a great fear, David, that the new place is going to be this. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Speak to you soon. I think this will be the oh, new yeah, place. Oh, yeah, I think it could be. I think it would be mm. like this. First class. Uh, mm. It will be. And your name again? Uh, could you just wait? Mr Baker is still broadcasting. We don't allow anyone to. <laughs> it's going to be all of that. It's going to be all of that. If, mm. And tomorrow, if, if, if you think it's stinking the place up, you, you let us know and we'll move straight back. What you got there, David? Right, I've got this one from Simon in Highbury who says, I can still uh, no, I still call your radio station GLR. Yeah, a lot of people do, and that's wrong, because it is actually BBC London. And uh, the, all them others, them 15 other names of the station, uh, but it's a long time ago. He said it's a pathetic attempt at not to cave into the BBC's rebranding <laughs> exercise of many years ago. But I still get a bit of a thrill doing so. I also do the same with GMR in Manchester when I'm up there. How dare you mention those wretches in the same <laughs> breath as this fine and on its knees organisation now about to move? Well, I was going to say that feels like home to me to the last record, mm. but uh, uh, you know, as usual, I couldn't contain myself, and I went with it earlier on. Do they uh, play this music in the elevators going up? As you walk in, actually, no. To be absolutely fair, and I don't want to set our cap against a brand new uh, 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 paymasters over there. But when you walk, when you get towards the because the brand new building the BBC have built, it's a bit. <laughs> yes, I'm here for the um, BBC London. BBC London. They in this building? Yes. Who do you want to see? Um, you're not going to get in there. It's so, all oh, the Bonhomie finishes. We're going pro. Going pro tomorrow. Let's end on it. Let's, let's, let's end on something high kicking. Oh, it won't, it won't play the last record. Oh, no. <laughs> no. All of the grasses grow and the waters flow in a free and easy way. But give me enough of the rare old stuff that's made near Galway Bay. Come gouge it all from Donegal, Sligo and Latrum too. And we'll Slip and we'll take a sip of the rail of a mountain dew. Skittery, I don't little dumb, skittery, I don't little dumb, skittery, I'm a dirty little dumb day. Skittery, I don't little dumb, skittery, I don't little dumb, skittery, I'm a dirty little dumb day. There's a night little still at the foot of the hill where the smoke curtains up in the sky. Be a whiff of the smell, you can plainly tell that there's much in boys close by. Where it fills the air with a perfume rare to be fixed both me and you. As home we roll, we'll drink a bowl on a bucket full of mountain dew. Skittery, I don't This year's the pile of written your prizes high. The safe for shame from wild dreams, aside from weight and rye. Go away with your pose of a cure all else from pagan Christian or Jew. Take off your coat and your dress, it's all with a pocket full of mountain dew. See the idle little dumb, see the idle little dumb, see the I'm a dying little dumb day. See the idle little dumb, see the idle little dumb, see the I'm a dying little dumb day. That's your lot from 35 Marlebone High Street, adieu. Couldn't think who I'd rather have spent it with, David Quo. You're very kind. That's put uh, Amy and Balin's nose out of joint. <laughs> there it is. Out there, Corky was producing. That's Elisa Kennedy. But chiefly, of course, yourselves. One of the great radio locations in the world. Goodbye. Standby Broadcasting House.